DK and Noah, Jay and Wynn and Karen, trying to be heroes and the on a mission. Well, Wynn ran off as soon as they reached Vegas. Where did she go? She left with nothing but vagueness. We find her in a hotel, alone and creeping. She looks like an old lady and she's yelling, housekeeping. All has got apple knees, lets her inside. She plays it cool, then commits a double homicide. the shooter. She sees just what she can do with Alvin's computer. It's got some feeds from the Air Force Base. Things look anything but fine. It lets her control headless and send it powers just like Lifeline. Back at the base, Karen shooting tranks with Pew Pew. Jay's a high-ranking official and he shoots Dan Dan and a few dudes. Headless joins the fight, now controlled by Rin. Her and DK take down Taswell, run to the plane and get in. They need someone to fly the plane. Karen draws a pilot. He's all of 13 inches tall and doesn't know flying and what not. And then from the chaos, Ron Solo appears. He survives somehow despite everyone's fears. He's got wires sticking out, but he still knows how to drive. And look who else is here. Sage Topian has arrived. She can't explain all the things that Sage Topian feels. The green mist's gone, so it's looking like this love is real. Touch and say, touch and say, touch and say. Believe nothing, called Jutopian. Just this to the rhythm of their hearts. Think a chance they can make her now. Then a rocket while the shit goes down. I believe nothing, God knows. No one knows how to fly a plane that could come in handy. She's feeling up a drowsy, I guess, man that needs candy. But Ron can drive anything, so it must include a plane. He's not a fan of flying, but there's no time to explain. He floors the plane and takes off, but the drawing lots of fire. Rin is headless, block some shots until they can get higher. But the group on their way, Rin doesn't stay and dwell. She disguises herself as Aldwin, who owns this hotel. She gets his car from the valet and drives out of town. She'll meet up with the group and see what's going down. They all meet up at the salt flats outside of the city. But things are what they seem, it looks awfully pretty. Raza and the group are all in their hero scape. She's in complete control and she doesn't want to escape. She'll just be a girl in a tube if she leaves this place. In her hero scape, she could defeat any foe she'd face. Oh, they tell her Raza she could just be a kid. A laugh and play and have fun off of the grid. But Omen took her arms and legs and all of her hair. She wants to make them pay and show them there was nightmares. Let's see what happens, the power grew.